Christ crown our heads. No excuses, it's been said. Purple shields raise parts and roll with heart and pride we're led. Learning is always fulfilled. Endless battles test our wills. Forevermore we make our pact on hell the roof of hills. Welcome back, Spartans. I'm Tony Raza. And I'm Derek Beeman. And you're watching Spartan TV. This year is definitely going by way too fast. I mean, prom was just this past Saturday, and seniors only have about four weeks left. I'm really going to miss all my senior friends. Well, let's not dwell on it too much. We still have lots of time to enjoy moments with them. That's true. It's, it's important to celebrate them while we can, like today. Oh, that's right. Today, track is having a meet here after school. It also happens to be their last home meet of the season, and what a better way to celebrate than with their senior night. Be there to support our track and field Spartans. I'll definitely be there. And with the topic of seniors, I think this would be a good time to explore our career options with one of Nathan Asagura's career spotlights. Are you ready, Spartans? I can't hear you. Oh, forget it. I'm sure you're not singing along anyway. So, for today's career spotlight, we're diving under the sea to explore the career of marine biology, since we really need to discover more than 5% of our oceans. So, gear up and get ready to find Nemo in a very fishy job that may turn you into an ocean man. Marine biologists are responsible for developing and researching the relationships of organisms in the marine environment, study characteristics of animals in the ocean, such as their species interaction, diseases, movement patterns, and many more, analyze the effect of human activity on the marine ecosystem, aka pollution, clean up guys, collect biological data and specimens to analyze, monitor and manage wildlife populations and invasive plants and animals, and write research papers and articles explaining these findings. To become a marine biologist, you'll need to swim to a four-year university or college for a degree in a Bachelor of Science. If you're motivated enough to go through the waves, then you could surf towards a master's degree in biology. If you have a bigger your boat and are not cast away yet. If you're interested in studying, researching, and somewhat raving with jellyfish, then this might be the career choice just for you, especially if you want to go 20,000 leagues under the sea. This is a great way for us to really get an understanding of what we might, might want to pursue after high school. It sure is, and even if you're not as interested in exploring careers, maybe you'd want to explore your spiritual life instead. Dark Nero Rodriguez was able to talk with Miss Archuleta about Club Encounter. Check it out! I would encourage Mr. Rubio and Ms. Joe and I to start our club was initially because we, um, I'm actually a believer and in Christ and um, we have a lot of students that um, don't know anything about the Bible and we have a lot of kids that want to know so that's why we started the club. We have two, two speakers that come in, Elijah and Jeffrey, and they come and basically they tell us and teach us about like, what the Bible means and they also help us if we want to get closer to God. And we have them first and second lunch and every Thursday. If you happen to come to our club, we also serve food like pizza. You might come in there weary. And I, I got this verse um, that I wanted to read. And this is from Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And it says, come to me all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So I like this because some of the kids are going through a lot of stuff, even the adults, and they're able to leave feeling a little lighter. 
Thanks again, Darnell. And if anyone was interested, Club Encounter meets every Thursday in D108 during both lunches. Make sure to only attend during your lunch. I could use a lunch right now. How about we go to break? Sounds great. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, this is Ms. Hensley and I'm back with your ASL Signs of the Week. This week's focus is on family signs. And to start with, this is a sign for family. And then mom, dad, sister, and brother. We're back. You know the year is coming to an end, and I'm thinking, I should really get a yearbook. You definitely should. It's a great way to hold all those memories, and our yearbook team puts so much effort into capturing those great experiences. Speaking of which, TV1 student Annabelle Garcia caught up with yearbook to give us some insight. I'm Pedro Rodriguez, and I'm the president of yearbook. I wanted to join yearbook because I wanted to capture memories from the entire year, and maybe like, catch a special moments with my friends and everyone else in the school. Being president of yearbook, I feel like, a leader. I'm like a role model for everyone else in the class. I, and when something needs to be assigned, I tell them and they get on it. And I feel like I'm respected and I show them the same respect as well. So I love your book. Like, at times it's stressful, but we've always been, we've always managed to come back up and fix all the problems. But I love you, but I love taking pictures and editing, and just capturing the memories from the year. For the future people who want to join your book, I feel you should. You most definitely should just Get your pictures done as fast as possible. Like, don't lag on me. That's just gonna bring the class down. You don't want to be the one bringing them down. It's definitely gonna bring them down. One thing I really enjoyed about your place is the connections I made with people. I'll be going out to softball games and be like, oh, you took that picture, you took that really awesome picture. Like, yeah, I got you. Here's a picture. Or I'll be going out to clubs and like, they like really welcome me and I just make connections with the people I, I make highlights about and we end up making like really meaningful connections with them. I love to see our TV ones working as hard as we do. Me too. It's crazy to think they'll take over the show in only a few months. How about we take a look at another package produced by TV One. This production is by Sofia Gomez. Hi, how have you been? Good, and you? Wonderful. What would you like to have done on your nails today? Um, maybe just a cute little white French tip. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's get started on that. Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm a nail artist, and I began my nail journey in 2019 when I decided to go to nail school. Alicia studied with the best of the best in the business. The team who trained her works with celebrity clients, including Rihanna, Gigi Hadid, and even the Kardashians. What motivated me to start doing nails was that I was never satisfied with the work that they did at the nail salons. The work environment was rushed, the work was sloppy, and very unsanitary. I soon began to practice on my daughter's nails and that soon led to me doing nails for my friends and family. Doing nails for Alicia's friends led to their friends being interested in getting their nails done, which quickly boosted her clientele. For anyone who's interested in starting a nail career, I would say that it's a great opportunity for you to use your creativity, meet new people, set your own schedule, and develop great relationships. That looks like some great work. Maybe I should get a manicure. Yeah, you could use one. Now that the school year is ending, we have noticed that not a lot of students take advantage of the opportunities that are provided. We were able to interview Mr. Nava about the opportunities provided and why students should take advantage of these opportunities. So unfortunately, we see many students that do not apply for in-house scholarships, which is unfortunate because it's free money available to pretty much all students as long as they complete the application. But I think we only got about 80 students who applied this year out of over 300. So um, there's always money available if the student is interested in um, putting up, putting up, you know, working towards that and going towards that. So. Um, but yeah, kids come late all the time, kids come early all the time, but I mean, I think it's never too late to try and get free money to help pay for college costs, because college is extremely expensive. Usually what the counselors do here is um, we give them information about like um, 
scholarship search engines like going Mary is one I'm thinking of Mary not like the name but M-E-R-R-Y so the kids usually create an account in the search engine and then uh, they talk about themselves and the things they want to do and all that and then the scholarships that pertain to them would come up I think just um, being involved and being active you know, if you just come to school and you stay quiet and you don't do much, you know, you're just, it's not something you're really engaged in. But when you come to school, you got a lot of friends, you're in clubs, you're in activities, you're in sports, you're more vested. When you're more vested in school, you're more likely to, to like it and then just, um, you know, have a good relationship with your teachers and with your counselor and then, um, you know, really hopefully pursue higher education. That was some great insight. And speaking of our students for this week's question of the week, we were kind of stumped. Luckily, we had you guys to help us out. Thank you guys. Yeah, I don't know what we would do without you guys. What is up Spartans? We're back with another episode of Question. What's up guys? Just kidding. It's actually Sophie's episode because Derek's actually sick right now. So I don't really want him touching the equipment because I don't want to spread sickness. Remember to wash your hands, guys. Flamingos in the pool. I smell like a mini bar. DJ's passed out in the So uh what should we ask our first targets? Um if they have a car and if they do have a car, what car do they drive? Uh yes I do. Uh, I drive a BMW. You know. What's their dream car? Um a Mercedes. So what should we ask our next target? Um, what do they plan to do over the summer? Hopefully get my license. And what should we ask our next person? <laughs> ask them how much they bench. Okay. Thank I you. haven't worked out since 10th grade, but in 10th grade I was able to do a plate in a 35. So I could go off of that, I guess. Whatever that means. Ask them what they want to see everybody to wear at prom. Okay, thank you. I would like to see like a lot of sparkly dresses. I love a lot of sparkly stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, okay, for guys, bro, I don't want to see no ankles out. Yeah, yeah, no high waters. Hot takes, ask me about hot takes. Free R. Kelly. Who's the best basketball player in the world? Point at who should we ask? I dare. LeBron James. I agree. I agree. What's the favorite flavor ice cream? Cookies and cream. Cookies and you cream. can never go wrong with cookies and cream. Why cookies and cream? Because, like, the flavor is immaculate, you know? Favorite shoes? Favorite shoes? Favorite shoes? Okay. New Balance. What type of New Balances? 2000. Are you wearing them right now? Yes. He's wearing them right now. Your favorite game to play? I don't know. Overwatch. I guess. Minecraft. I don't. I mean, Minecraft. <laughs> Orange juice or apple juice? Oh. Orange juice. Oh my gosh. Thanks again for your help with this week's question. How about we get into some oh, announcements? announcements. Girls, if you're interested in playing basketball next year, check out the informational meeting in the lecture hall today after school. Seniors, tomorrow is the exclusive Build a Bear experience. If you haven't pre-ordered your bear with the bookkeeper for the cost of $40 or $35 with an ASB card, then you might be missing out. Well, that's all we have for you today. We leave you now with some clips from our weekend at the Skills USA competition. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make it a great day, Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it. Ha ha ha!